it's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. I hope everyone is having a good day. Grab some hot chocolate. Grab some tea. We're going to talk about Christmas cookies. I'm so excited about this one. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you know there's a couple new things on the Bath & Body Works website today. We have a snowy peach berry confetti scrub. I'm like, are you kidding me? I really hope we get it in Christmas cookies too. I'm like, this is pretty amazing because usually they only do the top three in the confetti scrub. This Twisted Peppermint, which is now online by the way, Winter Candy Apple and Vanilla Bean Noel. But this year we have a Snowy Peachberry Confetti Body Scrub. I'm so excited about that. We also have the, um, the uh, Gingerbread Latte. <laughs> It slipped my mind for a minute. I was like, wow! <laughs> Gingerbread latte in the body cream, which is pretty awesome. And then we have a polar bear. The cardboard cutout, it looks like this, but it's a bear. And um, it hits the hot cocoa and cream. I need to get that because that looks super adorable as a stocking stuffer. And then we have a frosted coconut snowball bath fizzy. So a couple new things, you know, launch it online. We still don't have the uh, Twisted Peppermint Fine Fragrance Mist. And Christmas cookies, we don't have a shower gel yet, but I'm assuming it's coming. So let's talk about Christmas cookies. Oh my goodness. So first up, um, packaging, gorgeous. Um, I'm going to show the mist because I think you can see how pretty it is a little bit better on the mist. Look at the sparkle on this this year. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, I liked Land of Sweets last year. Super cute. Um, so last year, Christmas cookies actually came out as, I think it was floor set two or three. It was one of the later ones with the Land of Sweets collection. And we got the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. And then we got um, the Lemon Drop one, which I really hope they bring back this year. And, oh my gosh, all of us were like, Ooh, we got, uh, you know, blueberry, we got lemon, we got Christmas cookies. It was a really good year last year. So I'm kind of excited that they decided to bring back Christmas cookies as an earlier scent, like, um, you know, before the holidays actually get started. Because I think it's kind of a, it's kind of a year round scent, actually. I don't see why you couldn't wear this one year round. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, is it confetti cake pop? So I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison today um, just to give you an idea. I know a lot of people were just joining Bath & Body Works and kind of missed Christmas cookies last year. Now's your chance to stock up. I'm super excited for this one. Um, so let me go over the scent notes. The scent notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. I feel like this is like a sophisticated foodie scent. Um, I swear, I, I'm always saying, like, you put almond and you put praline in anything and it smells amazing. So this isn't a straight-on, like, sugar cookie. It's not like you're going to walk around smelling like um, a sugar cookie. It's got a little bit of almond. It's got a little bit of caramel. I don't think it's woodsy at all. Like, I don't get, like, um, a super strong woodsy element to it. I do get the caramel Maybe like um, a little bit of like um, heated caramel. Maybe that's it. Like it's a little bit of like um, sophisticated caramel. <laughs> but it does. It feels like something that you could wear and people would just go, wow, that smells really good. I mean, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this one last year. So I love this scent. Um, the body cream is a lot stronger than the lotion. So this is what the lotion looks like. Super cute. I don't think the, the lotion is super strong this year, though. I mean, I can smell the Christmas cookies, but it's not, like, it's not real strong. I tried this on. This one seems to fade a lot quicker, where I feel like the cream and the fine fragrance mist have a little bit more lasting power. I feel like this is a little bit stronger than it was last year. I don't know. Maybe I'm just um, imagining things, but I just feel like... Um, I, I put this on this morning and I was actually smelling it like for a good couple of hours. I do smell the caramel a little bit more in the mist, which I thought was interesting. Confetti cake top is actually um, creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. And it's funny, like I said, I was kind of doing the side by side. Anything in vanilla tends to get a little bit yellow, the cream. Um, this is almost a year old. 
but it's still good. This one to me smells a lot more vanilla and there's a little bit of like a perfume musky scent in this one. I don't feel like this one smells like a cookie. A lot of people loved this one last year, including me. Um, but I definitely feel like Christmas cookies has more of a bakery element. I think they're probably like a cousin somewhere in there. Um, I do prefer Christmas cookies over confetti cake pop. At least I do today. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. I can't, I, it, it's funny because having not worn Christmas cookies since probably like, you know, last January, um, I'm like, gosh, I should have brought this out because this is actually a really nice fall scent. It's, I don't know what it is this year. It just smells so fresh and so delicious and so amazing. I'm like, I'm like crazy about cookie, <laughs> Christmas cookies this year. And I did um, do a little research that Scooby-Doo mystery we had going on. <laughs> Mary Cookie is a total dupe of Christmas cookies. I looked up the scent notes. Um, it's kind of a cool little marketing thing they, they did there. They called it Mary Cookie in the travel one, it is the exact same shade of like this caramely, um, uh, like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a beige caramel color. Um, looks super pretty in the bottle though, but I love the fact that they put the fox on here, but Mary Cookie is identical to Christmas cookies, um, in terms of the scent. So that's fine with me. I'm like, you know, that's, that's like, <laughs> the more cookies, the merrier. <laughs> so... First scent of the year, basically, that I reviewed the collection. I still need the shower gel, by the way. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. Um, we don't have the shower gel yet. I'm assuming it's going to be the same beautiful shade of, like, um, caramel. But this is what the shower gel bottles look like in the collection. So you know that um, Christmas cookies is going to be just as gorgeous. I can't wait for the shower gel. Because I remember last year I bought, like, three shower gels. That was, like, one of my favorite um, holiday shower gels. Although they're all my favorites. Usually what I do, it's so funny. Um, I have like a shelf in the bathroom. Um, and I always line up like all the Christmas scents. And that way I can use a different one every night. <laughs> there's always there's always a good reason to use a lot of shower gel <laughs> for Christmas. Um, they make great gifts. I gift, it's funny, I gift a lot of um, like Bath and Body Works um, to my friends and family over Christmas. Everyone like last year was like, Christmas cookies. <laughs> So I'm sure this is going to be a popular one to get. So anyway, I'm giving this one a 10 out of a 10. I'm thinking it could probably almost be an 11, you guys. This one is amazing this year. Um, if you've gotten this one, let me know what you think. But I think it's fresh. I think it's strong. I'm getting that almond caramel cookie thing going on. I'm all over this one. So yay for Christmas cookies. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys really soon. Let me know what you think about Christmas cookies. Bye-bye.